Hello and welcome to the short board on Parshas Bahar Bechukosai from Shishi to Shvi'i. In Bechukosai, the few psukim there talks about a Tzidei Achuza, uh, if someone wants to redeem his fa- familial uh, inheritance, and the way it normally is redeemed is by the value of the remaining crops until Yovel. And so if it's 47 years till Yovel, he pays for the equivalent of 47 crops. If it's five years, for five crops. Uh, that's part of the process, but there are times when you cannot redeem it. But you'll have to look that up on your own. Uh, but we have another Dvartor related to Yovel, where in Perk Hey Pasuk Mem Aleph of Bahar, so it says, If someone was poor and he had to sell himself as an Evid Ivri, uh, when he leaves, his sons go out with him. So if we look in Parsons Rishpatim, it says that when he leaves, he leaves with his wife with him and not any references to children. Why the difference? So based on the uh, Torah's Moshe, which I think is the Hassam Sofer on, on Chumash, he has two different uh, commentaries on Chumash. So it says there, by he brings down Chazal, says that Rabbi Shimon asks, like, did he? Does this pasuk mean that his children were sold with him also to Abdus? It can't mean that just because he sold himself doesn't mean his sons were sold also. How do, what does it mean that they go out? So the answer is it teaches us that the master is not only hired to treat the Evid himself well, but he also has to take care of the children uh, who are uh, with the children of the of the Evid. Uh, however. Uh, the halach is that a person has an obligation for his children only until they are six years old. And surely the master of the Evid doesn't have a greater obligation than the father himself. So the, ev- the master won't, sir- won't pay for them for more than six years. Now, there's two different cases that we're talking about in, uh, in the Pesukim. Here we're talking about a case where it's Yovel, but in the case of Mishpatim is talking about a regular case where someone, whether he stole or he sold himself, but it was only for the six years, and that's when he gets to go out after the mandatory maximum six-year period of Abdus. At that point, any children that he brought with him would already be more than six years old at the end of six years, and by definition, the master will no longer, will not have been still obligated to serve them, and therefore there it only says that his wife goes out, because he still feeds her, but he doesn't feed any of the children anymore. But here we're talking about the case of Yovel, which Yovel means that he goes out free, even if it's less than six years, once the Yovel blows and the year starts. So in this case, he might have had sons. If it's less than six years, he still might have young children who are being served by the masters. So in that case, it fits. That now the master no longer has any obligation to the man or to the man's children. So thank you for listening. Have a wonderful week and a wonderful Shabbos.